don't want people to uh, <clears throat> uh, see the importance of bowing as, as a former drummer and the rhythms. Uh, I mean, I'm very particular about. I want really nice rhythms for dancers. I mean, I'm, as, a, as a drummer, I see the rhythm is, is the most important thing. And uh, so I tend toward the really rhythmic bowing, and I want to pass that on. And that's one of the reasons I do a Lundy workshop, is for people to hear that very staccato old dance music. Here. And of course, Lundy was gone by, you know, well, no, no. We overlapped, as I was saying, we overlapped two months. <laughs> But I didn't get to play with them. <laughs> but I mean, in the recordings that Armin was was pulling out for us, you know, we'd we'd hear, you know, the Round Peak style and the Southwest Virginia style, and of course the West Virginia style. But then Lundy popped up, and I'm thinking, oh, I, I immediately called it strutting music because it had that, and uh, uh, it was just a really nice, unique, different style to me. And so I thought I would learn that stuff. And of course, it was really rich with Irish. Uh, ornamentation and very noty, which as a fiddler you want you, you like you like the richness of playing. But it's it's not popular uh, session music because it's a little slower and and more stately. And I think bluegrass really influenced. Uh, I think uh, <clears throat> the bands and Gaelic. There was sort of an overlap there for a while. You know, the, you hear a lot of older f fiddle players playing with the bluegrass banjo, and they, you know. It was just a kind of a progression, and then it sort of split apart into old time and, and uh, bluegrass. Uh, <clears throat> so the spe I think the speed of old time music picked up at that point. Um, let's see, let me remember the name of the uh, Camp Creek Boys. We actually had them come to Charlottesville and play a dance. And Kyle Creed would come up with his stack of records and sell that style, his style of banjo, although it was very particular to... North Carolina, that that style, of, and of course that uh, was very different from what Harold had learned. So there was this back and forth about you know how do you play the banjo, but you know, it's just different styles. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> so they would pick the pace of the music up, and so so the old filigree kind of fiddling was sort of getting sort of screened out for for longer and longer bowing. And uh, so. You kind of got to slow the pace down to get the Lundy stuff. And uh, late at night, you know, when you're tearing up, you know, it's hard. It's hard to get the Lundy pieces in there. They just they just won't roll like a more modern longbow piece would. But uh, I sometimes play the Lundy pieces fast, but you do have to drop off some of the some of the ornamentation. And I'm sure that's sort of how it evolved anyway. Because, like I say, the same tunes that Lundy would play very flowery are, are played differently now. But they don't have to be. You can still play at the Lundy. <laughs>